We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Brothers and sisters, we gather today to celebrate the birthday of our church, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our church, in our community, in our family, and in each one of us. So let us take a moment to call to mind our sins against charity, our sins against forgiveness, and open our hearts to the Spirit to work in us. Lord Jesus, you have given us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have invited us to love and forgive one another unconditionally. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give yourself to heal us and strengthen us in holiness. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your people, your old church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, all the parts of the body, though many, are one body. 
so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. I now invite you to please join me in reading the sequence that is found on page 38 of your prayer and worship guide. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet. Grateful coolness in the heat. Solace in the midst of woe. Almost blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not. Nothing good in deed or thought. Nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness, pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore. And confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Saint Pope John Paul was the talk of the town in 1986 when he visited India. I was a little kid and I still remember some of my folks who had gone to uh, take a glimpse of him, visit him, uh, come back and explain their experience uh, this is how they describe that there was a unknown kind of spiritual goosebumps all over their body for seeing Pope for the first time in their lives. Um, that was a great experience, a lot of excitement. His visit to India created a lot of excitement in people. Um, I cannot just uh, explain in words. Uh, so similar thing was happening 
uh, 2,000 plus years ago in Jerusalem. There was a lot of excitement, and everyone in Jerusalem on that day witnessed something that they had never, ever experienced. They were all astonished and amazed at what was happening on the day of Pentecost, that the Holy Spirit coming in the form of as tongues of fire resting on the apostles. So this is how I look at those who were there on that day. Their lives were never the same again. All of them became believers, were baptized, and they became one community. And the Acts of the Apostles tells us very, very inspiring. They tell us that everyone in that community became in one heart and one mind. They were in one heart and one mind. They began to share everything they had, breaking up the bread, all the resources that they had, they brought to be shared with everyone in the community. And they began to speak one common language that was a language of love. So this is what happened, if you try to picture it. Everyone gave, that means everyone received. So when everyone gave and everyone received, there was no one who was in need in that community. That was a vision that Jesus had shaped for his disciples. And this first Christian community was making it a reality. So what an ideal community for us to, to be inspired and to follow today. So brothers and sisters, I invite us to look at our own family, community, our nation. Do we speak one common language, the language of love? Do our lives give witness to the presence of the Holy Spirit as we witness in the first Christian community? Believe me, brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit that Jesus breathed on the disciples is very much visibly and powerfully present in our world today. In each one of us, in our community, in our families, in order for us to grow in our awareness of how this Holy Spirit is present and active, we need to open our hearts for the Holy Spirit to work in us so that we may go beyond our boundaries in loving, in forgiving, in reconciling. So today we pray as a community that we may open our hearts for the Holy Spirit to rekindle in us the fire of love so that we may begin to love generously, forgive generously, and give witness to the risen Christ as the first Christian community was able to. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, make in the earth, Jesus Christ, whose only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he's seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he'll come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now present our petitions with confidence to our loving God. For church leaders, may they be filled with the Holy Spirit bringing justice to the oppressed, food to the hungry, plenty to the poor, and compassion to the suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord. 
for all those who have celebrated sacraments of initiation this Easter season, that they may learn to recognize the Spirit's movement in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all of us, that we may use the spiritual gifts we have been given by the Holy Spirit for the benefit of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the recovery of those who have been infected and for protection of all of our parish members, especially the sick and the elderly, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the spirit of healing to descend upon all who are sick or in pain, especially among our viewers and listeners, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the souls of the departed, that they may be made perfect in the life-giving spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of Vermont and Kansas. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, hear our prayers and help us to open our hearts to the Holy Spirit to transform our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic choirs sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, Jeff, Jim, our bishops, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Ivar variyaga, ivar odi varil, yallam valle irai vanagiya tandaye, tu yavi nundri pil, yallapugaru marchiyom, yendrendrumu makhu uriyade. Let us now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace, and also let's, let us extend our peace.
to all our viewers. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to shed my but only say the word, and soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, save God, we pray, the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives.
We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you.